What's going on, fellow Nerporeals? How's everybody doing today? I'm going to be doing something I don't usually do, and that's provide some Nerdporeal news. As I'm sure you're all aware of, I'm a big Star Trek fan, especially the Star Trek prior to 2009. So, as a, as a result, I'm also a fan of the Orville, because the Orville best represents what Star Trek used to be. The Orville has managed to basically win the hearts of all the uh, classic Star Trek fans out there, and because of the, uh, the pandemic that's been going on, Season 3 of The Orville has been delayed for like, it's going to be three years. So we finally got a new announcement. So there was an announcement a few months ago um, where the, we, we learned that The Orville New Horizons, which is what this new season's going to be called, will be coming out March 10th of 2022. Well, as of right now, uh, we just got a recent update from Seth MacFarlane himself stating that the uh, new season of the Orville has been postponed to June 2nd of 2022. But as a way to placate uh, the fans, they, he released a uh, four minute uh, preview clip. And I'll be honest, I saw this clip and I was blown away by the cinematography, by the shots. Is this look next level compared to season two? I mean, this is this looks like it's up there with Star Wars. like. Everyone compares the Orville to Star Trek, but the the last the last season it, it's starting to merge a lot more with Star Wars, especially the especially the nature of the battles themselves. So I saw this and it was amazing. The scope is epic. It's epic in scope now. You see like fleets of sh uh, you see fleets of Union ships out there. It's crazy, and we see the new opening of the Orville, and it just looks amazing. Like I just couldn't believe what I saw. The clip that we do see, we see uh, a big battle that's going on between the, uh, the Union and the um, Krill against the Kalon, and it's, 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 it's chaotic. And we're on the Orville, and we see Marcus, and Marcus is running. People are being thrown around like ragdolls. Things are blowing up all around him. He's running, trying to get to his brother. He's trying to get, he's trying to get back to the quarters. So it's the same, it's the same actor before, and uh, he gets to... Uh, he gets to his brother, and uh, it's the same actor that plays Ty as well. And uh, we turn around, and uh, we see Isaac in the room. He's blue. He's creepily silent. And all of a sudden, we get a jump scare, and he's evil. So I don't know if that means that Isaac is bad, or if he's been taken over, or maybe it's an imposter. But who knows? But the the uh, the shots that they've used. I mean, this is up there with fr frickin', uh I mean, this is this looks crazy. Like, this looks freaking amazing. So in the meantime, check out Seasons 1 and 2 of The Orville on Hulu. I plan to do weekly streams the day that the new episodes are dropped. And anyone is welcome to come on and discuss the new episodes with me. Because this looks like this is going to be, a, there's going to be a lot of talking. And also, looks like a lot of things are going to be happening. And so I can't wait to talk about it with other fans, so... Definitely check this out if you haven't. This is definitely the next level. This is definitely the next step for Star Trek and science fiction, in my opinion. So other than that, everyone, uh, check out the rest of my channel. I did a review. I did an Reporial Sci-Fi Chats for Season 2. And um, once again, check out, the, check out the trailer again. And let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen. And remember, it's okay to be nerdporeal. Take care, everyone.